My name is John Rin. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Stem Cell and Regenerative Biology at Harvard University. Currently, we're fascinated about how ribonucleic acids or RNA molecules may actually serve to shape the, the genome structure in the cells in our body. It's, it's fascinating to think that the same genome is present in every single cell in our body, yet it's these shapes that it takes on that manifest a, a wide diversity of cell types, such as the brain, the liver, the kidney. And we think we found a missing piece to this equation of how the genome takes shape with uh, large um, non-coding RNA molecules that we like to call link RNAs or large intergenic non-coding RNAs. And our work has led us to find that indeed they do influence the shape of the genome and can be important in cancer pathways as well. The ultimate goal of our research is to be able to use RNA um, as a regenerative uh, therapy. If we could understand how RNA is influencing genome shape, we could imagine engineering RNA molecules to restore the genome back to its proper shape um, towards new therapies and that would be universally applicable to diseases. In science, it's very important to have healthy skepticism, and there's plenty of that around here, which on the surface can uh, make this work seem very risky. So even though it may be considered high risk, I'm quite confident we're going to find interesting things. At the same time, it's always important to listen to that skepticism um, in a constructive way. The Damon Runyon uh, Innovation Award really turbo-boosted a whole new aspect um, of research in the lab. We, we wouldn't have actually studied um, P53 related um, transcription regulation of, of link RNAs, but the Damon Runyon uh, Award allowed us to sort of look down that, that uh, rabbit hole, if you will, and what we found was, was quite amazing. We found that there's numerous uh, of these RNAs that are playing a key role in, in, a, in a very important uh, cancer pathway. We really wouldn't have looked down that road, and now that we have, it's made an explosion of new research um, that we're now pursuing. What do I do in my free time? Well, if there is free time, um, I actually turn back to what was an original passion for me, which is skateboarding and snowboarding. It's actually, ironically, how I got in, into science was through numerous injuries and in, in trying to pursue a skateboarding and snowboarding career, and found science actually quite similar with learning fundamentals, applying them, and, and taking them to new levels.